everything. The I told the him shoot. how to be a great dancer. So in other words, if we see him on the dance floor, and he can't dance, <laughs> we get to blame you. I, we get to yes. blame you. No, but yeah. he's a great dancer. How did today go for you, would you say? It went really well. You know, uh, I know areas where I need to work in, and that's the same thing I've been working on all summer. What are those areas? Um, just communicating still. Um, you know, I got better at it over the, over the last two years with Ignite, but um, I'm still, you know, still progressing. We've been here for a couple of weeks. We've seen, like, m multiple people in workouts. This is just you today. Do you thrive in situations like that? Sure, that's what I've been doing all summer, you know, working out by myself. That's what I've been doing. Um, me and my sister, and me and maybe like a few guys, but I prosper in you know one-on-one -on -one workouts. Tell us about your sister. She the goat. Um, <laughs> she the Marietta goat. You know, uh, huge and huge in Marietta and in Georgia in general in women's sports. Um, and I take, I try to take my my confidence that she has, and um, I just try to instill that in my game as well. Ball. I hope I just gotta shoot like a little midi. It got to be wet. That was good. Hey. Hey, that was too late. That was too late. That was too late. That was late. I'm Diamond. I'm Scoot's older sister, and he got his killer mentality from me. I'm Onyx, I'm Scoot's older sister, and he got everything from me. I'm Jay, Scoot's oldest brother, and he got his music taste from me. I'm CJ. <laughs> I'm CJ, and I'm not gonna lie, he got all his basketball skills from me. Just so you know, that's going. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, that's going. Oh, I thought you were talking about the school class. Now Going to the Puma activation. Gonna have some fun. Let's get it. That's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. We got the grill. Basically, it's the color of all my siblings, the jewel stones and the, the birthstones of all my siblings. Here's my heart, my mom and dad, especially the top part. The little zone in the back, all my, all my brothers on the back and all the shoulders up here for my protection. So I know they got my back. Then we go down to the pants, the flares, and then the steel toe. Then we're gonna go to the chain too. All the colors of my siblings again. You gotta talk like that. <laughs> 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 
Try to sound like, like mad proper. Hi, my name is Terrell. Hi, my name is Scoot Henderson. Hey. With the third pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Scoot Henderson from Marietta, Georgia, and the NBA G League's Team Ignite. Scoot Henderson, big game, big personality, of course, from the G League Ignite, following in the footsteps of Jalen Green, Jonathan Kaminga, Dyson Daniels, all top 10 picks here. Scoot, you took time to hug every one of your siblings at the table before you went to the stage after Adam Silver called your name. Why was it important to take that moment? I'm just enjoying the moment and that means so much I had to. No, no matter who's calling me, you know, I'm blessed to be here. Um, I got to thank the ones that, that got me here in the first place. Uh, and that's what I had to do. Mom, Crystal, Dad, Chris, you yes. guys told me at age five you knew your son was special. You could see that this day would come. Now that it's here, what's going through your mind? It's amazing. 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 God is good. Right. He's working good. really hard. He worked really hard, and we, we ain't done yet. We at ground zero now. Right. Chris, now yes. that he steps into the pros, yeah. what kind of basketball dad are you going to be? <laughs> I'm just going to be the dad on, on the side, you know, cheering. At the same time, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist, so watch what he's doing, what, what he's not doing, and try to perfect his, his, his skill set. We still going to be, we still going to be working, and nothing changed. Nothing changes. Scoot, Crystal, Chris, congratulations! Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, appreciate you. I'm the youngest of six. I got four older sisters. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So let me let me ask the sister this question. I want to know in your words. How much did y'all beat up on him while he was growing up? Now tell oh, the truth. a lot, a lot. Every time we play 1v1, even if it wasn't basketball, just, you know, playing around, you know, it was all, we were all competitive, you know, so. Bullying me. That's bullying. Right. Another word for bullying me. That's okay. right. Second sister arrived here right now, yeah. and I understand that they played a very, very significant role. You said, I saw you on camera, you said you taught him everything he know. You taught him everything he know. That's just sad. Okay? I did. And he got everything from me. And what is everything? The I told him shoot? how to be a great person, okay. <laughs> a better basketball player, a great dancer. So in other words, if we see him on the dance floor and he can't dance, <laughs> we get to blame you. I, we get to yeah. blame you. No, but yeah. he's a great dancer. You can point to anybody right now. I, I he I got my money on him to beat them in a dance battle. I just got drafted. I just got drafted. I just got drafted. Need a triple double. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't drive the ball. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Now I feel like Russell. I want to ask you about all of the hype around you. I mean, people are using words like transcendent, generational, uh, guaranteed, all-star. Like, what does that do to you mentally? Does, does it fuel you, or does it make you say, whoa, what's going on? Or do you feel it's a little bit too much sometimes? Um, honestly, I, I don't really pay attention to it. Like, like, I mean, it's kind of hard not to see it. You know, obviously, I got social media, but uh, I just always rely on the gym, you know. Um, I wouldn't have none of this if it wasn't for me and my work ethic, you know, me coming in every single time, you know, me coming in days where I didn't want to. So I always just fall back to, to getting back in the gym. So whenever it is, you know, words like that, generational, uh, special, uh, I mean, I, I, know, I know who I am as a person, and, and that's all that matters. The consistency is talking about your family. Um, why are they so important to you and how have they helped you? Uh, they got me to where I am today. They made me, they molded me into the man I am today. And, uh, you know, I... There's no other way to repay them than, you know, just continue to say thank you and uh, just trying to find different ways to, to say that. Um, and, you know, just hopefully they know how, how much of an impact they had in my life. You know, there's been plenty of people in my life, but they have always been my foundation. 
you know, and, and you can't do nothing without a foundation. It takes a village.